Hey guys, I'm Dips, and this is an introduction to modding for Total War Warhammer 3. Today we're just going to be going over how to download and set up the software that we use for modding. Just some admin stuff here first. This is intended as a step-by-step -step guide for a complete newbie. There's some timestamps below, but try not to go jumping around too much, as any mistakes here are going to be a bit of a pain down the line to try and fix. Once you've finished this, there should be a follow-up video as a part of the playlist, or if you're coming from the modding wiki, you can just use the next link. So, let's get into it. Starting off super simple, you want to install what's called the Warhammer 3 Assembly Kit from Steam. So all you've got to do is come into your Steam library, like so. Go into Games, click Tools, and then type into the search bar, Warhammer. And it should just be down here, Total War Warhammer 3 Assembly Kit Beta. Mine's already installed, but you can just install it like any other game or tool. The second piece of software is Rusty Pack File Manager. Rusty Pack File Manager, which I will now refer to as RPFM, is a primary tool used for modding Total War games. First, I'm going to show you how to download it, and then we'll go over how it works and set it up. You can just type RPFM into the search engine and look for GitHub, but I'll post a link for the website in the description. So you just want to come down here to the latest release, and then we want to come down to Assets, and we want to just click this once. And that should just start downloading. Once that's done, we need to extract the files. Any kind of file extractor will do. If you are not quite sure what that is, I'll include a link to that in the description. Try and extract them to the same drive you have Warhammer 3 on, um, just to kind of keep things in the same place. Cool, and just let that go through. Once that's done, I recommend pinning it to the taskbar. So go into wherever you saved it. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom till we find the EXE. Left click, right click. And we want to go to pin to taskbar. And that should just appear down there now. Okay, so you can open up RPFM and it look, should look something like this. Might look a little bit different because we haven't completed setup yet but we'll get to that in a second. So a quick thing to mention, if it's asking you to update the schemas, just click that and that might take a little bit, so just wait for that to finish. I'm basically just gonna be reading out the manual to you guys, so that'll also be included in the description if you think it's gonna be quicker, but we'll just go by it step by step. So we wanna hover over pack file, then we wanna go down and hover over preferences, left click, and so, a couple things here, and I'll just show you which ones we want to fill out for Warhammer 3. We need to fill out Warhammer 3, obviously, and the My Mods folder. So, let's go through that. Okay, so we can use a bit of a shortcut just to get the stuff here. So, for Game Folder, we need to get the folder with the Warhammer.exe. So, to do that, we can just go into Steam, and we can right-click on Total Warhammer 3, Manage, Browse Local Files, and just double check that you have the .exe at the bottom. Cool. Copy the address. And then we can just bring it back up here and we can go paste. Same deal with the assembly kit. We can go into Steam, left click, right click manage, browse local files, except we wanna go into assembly kit. And then we're gonna copy the address and we're just gonna put that here. Last thing is the My Mods folder. So that just allows you to access and create mods way more easily, just an access thing. So I just decided to put mine next to where I have RPFM installed, RPFM My Mods, call it whatever you like. Just an extra step we can do while we're here. If you go into settings, you can set Warhammer 3 as the default game for whenever you open up RPFM. Once that's done, uh, you can just click save and we're 90% of the way there. So. All it's left to do is we can go to Game Selected and make sure we have Warhammer 3 selected. And you want to go to Special Stuff, Warhammer 3, and you want to generate Dependencies Cache. Cool. Like it says, that may take a while, so just wait for it to finish. Cool, that's setting up all finished. If you have any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below or have a look at the manual, which again is linked in the description. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any queries or issues, all the resources I mentioned in the video are in the description, including the Warhammer Modding Discord and Wikipedia page. A very special thank you to the Warhammer Modding community, and I do hope this helps kickstart your modding journey. As mentioned, there will be follow-up videos to come, so stay tuned.